Oh, let's see. Well, we all know that uh, everybody's favorite uh, lingerie line, uh, Victoria's Secret. <laughs> uh, they're not having a good time. They pizzaed when they French fried. You know what happens when you do that? You're going to have a bad time. You're going to flop. You turn into a calzone. Uh, Victoria's Secret's de-evolution, uh, de de devulsion from an embrace of femininity and beauty to a woke nightmare. All right, so if you haven't been paying attention, all right, so back in the day, I've had uh, the opportunity to bang a couple of uh, models that work for this particular store. All right, so we've noticed that uh, the wedding industry has been collapsing. Uh, we've had big bridal whole you know, corporations go bankrupt. Okay, well, if people aren't getting married, kind of makes sense. They're probably not banging as much. And a lot of that, those items from Victoria's Secret are not being utilized to their fullest potential by all aspects of so-called uh, the sexual dynamic that we have going on now. Okay, now on top of that, uh, we have seen Sports Illustrated uh, with their heavier women. Uh, we've had trans models winning beauty contests. And Victoria's Secret decided to jump on board. And my prediction is, in a short time, we're going to see Victoria's Secret go under. Go woke. Go broke. All right, continue on. Sorry about that, Jim. Secret, not the, not going to be so secret anymore. Mm. But a Victoria's Secret annual fashion show, show uh, used to be a spectacle like no other. People, especially women, waited all year to gawk at the world's most beautiful supermodels waltzing down the runway, adorned in gorgeous, sparkling lingerie and enormous angel wings. Yeah, and those uh, same models will uh, were gawk gawking to uh, get the job. Allegedly. <laughs> but those days, it seems, are long over. In an age where progressivism has swept the country like an insidious plague, Victoria's Secret is now like nearly every other mainstream brand. Woke. Yep. Sad trombone noises. Uh, Lauren Chen is disappointed, to say the least. As someone who used to enjoy watching, watching the fashion show, as it was a, quote, an unbashed example of womanhood and femininity, which it was, because those girls were drop-dead gorgeous. Yes, they were. She's disheartened to see that uh, the company has conformed to appease the woke crowd. Fucking conformists. <laughs> uh, while Victoria's Secret has made up of it, made an effort several years ago to include, include plus-size models in its marketing campaigns and in the fashion show, the company was met with criticism because, quote, even those plus size models were too attractive and not diabetic enough, says Lauren. Okay, stop right there. All right, how, how many times we heard the the saying uh, "beauty at any size"? I don't know, thousands, maybe ten thousand times. I've heard that in the past five years. It doesn't make it true. Men like what they like. And the average woman out there in the Western world is five foot five, 170 pounds. One third of them are on head meds. One third of them have an STD. And 90% of them have been on some type of crazy birth control, which is not conducive to uh, even keel thinking. Okay. But they insist on having these plus size models and all this other crazy stuff. Men don't want to look at it. They certainly don't want to touch it and they don't want to participate in any way, shape or form with that market. And the proof is in the pudding because those men have walked off with their wallets and you get what you get. <laughs> Ah, oh, fun, fun times. Because 
Uh, I had a thought there, but I, I lost it there. But uh, we'll get back All to right. that. Uh, further, the uh, LGBTQRS TUV WF me and the A community unsurprisingly complain about the lack of queer and trans inclusivity. Not enough penis on that runway wearing lingerie. <laughs> Okay, again, uh, uh, men like what they like, and they don't want to see a woman with a dick. No. I'm sorry. As the, uh, as the saying goes, there are no such things as chick with, chicks with dick, Johnny, only guys with tits. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. God. Uh, in 2019, the company's complete 180-degree transformation began when its former chief of mar marketing officer, Ed Razik, came under fire for allegedly, quote, creating a culture of misogyny and harassment in the workplace. What? I, I, I'm sorry. How does, how does, um, how do you create misogyny when you are literally making clothing and all these other garments and whatnot that are appeasing to men that are on a beautiful woman's body? How right. do you Here's a side note, Jimmy. Are we on Rumble? Uh, we should be. Let me double check here. We should be on Rumble. Uh, yes, we are. Okay. Yep, I just had to do a quick reload on that. Sorry about that. I'm sorry about that. I'm just kidding. Nah, yeah. No, yeah, I, I figured Murphy's going to fucking show up. He's going to stick it in one hole and spit roast us with the other one. Yep. Oh, fucker. <laughs> Fuck you, Murphy. Hey, we can only do what we can do. Yeah. Uh, the weight of those al these allegations against Razik in combination with, quote, increased scrutiny of social justice and feminist activists was enough to temporarily suspend the fashion show. No, it wasn't uh, scrutiny. It was jealousy because you go right. to a, a social justice rally or a feminist rally. All right. No, Self-explanatory. Again, feminists. All right, well, let, let, let's let's roll this back. All right, we have the the WNBA, right? The the women's, you know, basketball, whatever. They throw games. They have games all the time, right? And they have them in these stadiums where they have the male basketball games, and they pull in about eight percent of the total crowd of the male games, period, all right? So what you have here is you have feminists canceling, screaming, going crazy, but they will not throw any money in, their, in that direction. So what does that tell you? Uh, it's telling me they're toothless tigers. All they really do is bitch, moan, and complain. They want to have all of this fairness, which in reality isn't fair. It's special treatment because guess what? If you had a professional male basketball team that could only pull in 8% of the crowd needed to fill a stadium, they would get traded away and shut down. But they're not because they are subsidize, subsidizing the whining, screeching feminists of the world. And that's only going to last so long because of this one simple statement. Money talks and bullshit walks. Yeah. It's just that simple. Yep. It, 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 at the end of the day, everything boils down to money, right? Am I wrong? Pretty much, yeah. And either you earn money to cover your, your overhead and make a profit, or you don't. Very rarely do people like get on the fence where they're not making profit or not losing money. It doesn't happen that often. It's usually one or the other. Yep. Oh, man, these, I don't know what it is. And that's one of the main reasons we're reading you this article here. Yep. Uh, that you guys know about the insane special privileges 
that the women of the West want. And they hide behind equality. Yep, they want all the same privileges, just not to put in the effort to get them. Correct. What, what was the percentage of uh, men dying on the job again, Pop? Wasn't it like a 94, 95%? It's like somewhere between 94 and 97 percent, depending upon the industry that you're looking at. Yep. So come on, ladies, get it in the get those construction jobs. We know you guys can. Uh, you're good at. Yeah. Listen, you're, if you're you, good at, they're good at nailing. Oh, I mean, uh, getting nailed. Yeah. If these women truly wanted equality, they would fight for the jobs on the crabbing boats. They'd fight for the jobs in the coal mines. They would fight for all of those jobs out there that men have been doing. You know, for ever you know the dud jobs the dangerous uncomfortable deadly jobs those ones women don't like those jobs nope no i want my air conditioning in my office and i want a brand new office chair because this one hurts my back me 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 mm, shut up and suck it up oh uh, let's see uh the company was uh promised its brief uh hiatus would allow it to which return to the stage better than ever. But it was a total lie. Shocker. The uh, new and quote unquote improved Victoria's Secret that just emerged this past September in the form of a pseudo documentary called The Tour is as woke as it gets. Most of the pieces in that feature fit in the that feature in this film are not actually lingerie. Shocker. Uh, why they decided to not focus on the thing that the brand actually makes is beyond me. And I'm guessing it has something to do with um, something to do with all those allegations of misogyny. All right. Now, listen, if you want to get the attention of the male snorkel, you need to basically dangle some bait that'll make the snorkel point north. If you can't do that, What's the point? That's it. <laughs> uh, are you there, Jimmy? Yeah, sorry about that. I'm still getting got used to doing my dual setup. Now I'm back to my laptop. So, all right. Uh, sorry about that, gents. Hiccups and Murphy and fuck that asshole. Uh, let's see. Uh, further quote: The models featured in the tour don't look nearly as sexy or as glamorous as the models that used to walk Victoria's Secret fashion show. In fact, they're very average looking and often overweight. So, in other words, Pop, I give them a four. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, which might have worked for a company like Dove selling hygiene projects, but certainly it's a 180 pivot for a company like Victoria's Secret. Even the stereotypical thin, beautiful models included in the tour were not so uh, were not styled to be glamorous or feminine as they were in the past. They were trying to make these attractive models look worse for some reason, says Lauren. That reason being equal, equal equity and beauty. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Sometimes you're blessed with the uh, the genetics of a uh, Greek gog. Sometimes you're blessed with the genetics of Gorlock the Destroyer. Yes, that's absolutely correct. Uh... And I'm going to be honest, uh, you should not have Gorlock the Destroyer walking up and down a runway with lingerie on. I'm just going to say right there. No. We're, now, we're, yeah, there are some women out there who are referred to as butter faces, meaning that they are uh, from the neck down. They are absolutely stunning. But for the face, the face is all messed up. Could look like olive oil. It could like a, look like an orc from Lord of the Rings, and uh, that will, will require uh, basically an averaging out overall. But that's up to you, gentlemen. Just saying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if she's got a butter face, make sure to butter her tonsils and then skedaddle. Well, you know, like if she's got like a set, an eight body and like a four face. You average it out to a six. It's not too bad. Yeah. Either that or you just, you know, you go to the uh go to the store and ask for paper bags. That that is a technique as well. 
get two just in case the one falls off of her. Because I'm going to tell you this right now, 80% of every man out there will bang virtually any woman. And then you have that uh, horrific 20% that will bang anything. All it requires is a six-pack and a light switch. You know, two legs and a butthole, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Those are some sick yeah. bastards. <laughs> Yes, sir. That is, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not proud of it. I've, uh, you know, I've uh, slayed a hog or two in my day. So it's, not, it's all good, brother. It happens, man. When it's you're down me. bad, things happen. Oh, let's see. We'll finish this one off here real fast. Uh, let's see. Where was that? Uh, see. Oh, yeah. Uh, but uh, that's the only beginning in the new Victoria's Secret era. Not only has the company replaced live fashion shows with a film, but also nixed the iconic pop music. Hmm. All previous fashion shows featured a famous artist doing a live performance while the models walked the runway. Taylor Swift. Yeah, fucking stupid cunt. Uh, Bruno Mars, uh, Ari Ariana Grande, The Weeknd, and Ellie Gold uh, Golding are just some of the artists who have performed on the Victoria's Secret stage. But this year the company decided to take a radically different approach. Instead, they incorporated a poetry... What? A poetry uh, recitation from, I'm guessing, a Nigerian artist. <laughs> who right. found it, it says Stop. Lauren, who found the stunt awkward and uncomfortable. All right, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. All right, so... Obviously, what we have going on here is we have the generation that just uh, got out of high school, you know, about six years back, now working in the industry. And somehow they thought this was a good idea. Well, it's not, number one. Number two, we have a whole generation of individuals moving into the mainstream economy who don't know how reality works. This is not going to go well. Mm. No, not at all. And uh, yeah, a poet from Nigeria. How inclusive, how inclusive of them. Mm -hmm. uh, Victoria's Secret actually look, uh, took to heart the criticisms of online feminist activists, says Lauren. And the company created a film that checks all the boxes. It's diverse. It features different body types. It features different artists from different countries. It's super feminist and that, and that none of the women really look good. So you avoid male gaze. And it has uncomfortable, weird poetry and art, which you know progressives love. Yes, and, and it doesn't make money. Oh. Obviously, it does not make money. Go woke, go broke. What could go wrong? Like this little quota thing. Oh, my God. You want to talk about killing the story, killing the plot, and destroying everything it touches. That's a prime example right there. Yep. Everything woke turns to shit. Uh, I'll wrap it up here, Bruce, here soon. Uh, the tour currently has a 2.9 out of 10 on IMDb and a pitiful 1.7 stars on Amazon. Good. It should. Ouch. Good. Uh, those numbers suggest that people would still rather be entertained than have to sit through an essentially an hour of virtue signaling about how progressive Victoria's Secret brand is. Correct. And listen, it's my opinion that the progressives out there have no idea how the world really works they want the world to conform to their feelings well in reality feelings don't mean shit sorry it just is what it is yep well they go to college and um all that uh the indoctrination centers as i call them that's exactly and what they get are. they get force fed all of this stupid bullshit down their throat to the point where they're like a a gorgeous like seven and a half, eight girls fresh out of high school, that's 18 years old, will go to college and not even two years down the line, half shaved head, fuck face tattoos, fucking 
four gauge earrings. Her fucking lips are all pierced. More fa- more metal on her face than in a tackle box. Yep. Sleeve tattoos, and you know I can appreciate tattoos on a good on a good looking woman, but they got to be tasteful. If it's just random shit, be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna let my let this meth head fucking tattoo this. I'm like, no. Okay. Well, listen, tattoo starts with a T, and so does temporary. Yep. And so does trouble. Yeah, listen, man, if you run into a woman that has a wizard sleeve tattoo, you know, it's an inverted windsock down below. (laughs) Just a rule of thumb. Wizard sleeve on the arm, a wizard sleeve in between the legs. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the meat case box. 